fruit, get your vegetables, get some other stuff, probably. I don't know what's in these bags. I didn't look. I don't care if you buy two grapes at the same price as mine and two watermelons. I'm really funky, and I really want to get rid of this produce, and it's maybe a little bit... Oh, what are you doing here? Me? You want to buy some fruit? What are you doing? Running the market. We've been doing this for ages. We're in a competition right now. I guess you're losing, then, if you don't know. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, I abandoned that pretty quickly. Well, mine's going quite well. I, I keep selling fruit and then getting more fruit, and I still have to sell the fruit. This is so much fruit. Also, did you did you announce that you were funky on the way over? On, I, I could have sworn. Well, I am funky. You can't be both funky in a market stall, though. Do you want watermelons or not? I don't want watermelons. I want ground melon. What about a squash? Why do you have a giant basin of water with a single turnip and tomato in? Don't just say it like it's a regular turnip. <laughs> So oh, sorry, man. Am I not appreciating the girth of your root vegetable? This is my prize turnip. It won prizes. Which prize did it win? Lamest giant vegetable? No, it won lamest small vegetable because it's giant. I also gave it an umbrella to make sure that it doesn't rot from the yeah, sun. Actually, is this a cocktail? Not really. There's not a whole lot of ingredients in there. I mean, you don't have to have multiple ingredients to have a cocktail. You don't? I'm pretty sure that's just called being alcoholic. So you're saying I could pour a glass of juice and that's a cocktail? No, combined juice, multiple juices. That's just that's just weird. That's not a cocktail. That's called weird. You're gonna you're gonna serve this man, or? Well, he knows what he wants. It doesn't seem like he's going anywhere near anything you're selling, and he's and he's actually leaving. Uh, okay, look, you can have you can come back later. I'm busy. What is this signage? Look, I didn't I didn't say I could write. <laughs> Sorry, you just put random scrinkles. Oh, this is a no, no. <laughs> They're not random. I know what they mean, and that's what matters. Okay, what is this? They're, um, they are long bananas. Long bananas. Long bananas. L I mean, bananas are already fairly long. Not compared to these. Why did you breed the curve out of them? I just felt it was unnecessary. A straight banana is a good banana. But what are these? Uh, those, those are, those are just eggplants. I mean, they look like purple fingernails. Well, look, I, I don't judge your produce. What are these? Uh, straight peppers. Straight peppers. Yep, I can make balloon animals out of them. Go on, then. What do you want? A new monster. Does that work for you? Chiche, 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 chiche. Please stop throwing me around like that. Chiche, chiche, chiche. Shaker, give me a quest, Chiche! That's not how this works. Give me a quest in our book. Give me a book. Why do you have so many Just books? point at the board. Point at the board? Okay. I I can't. Hey, made you look. <laughs> That's so scary. What if there was a scary thing there? Then you'd be scared. She does have a slightly, like, complain with, with us. Forever, forever and ever and ever. Are you ready to get hot? Gun. Uroctor. You ready to get super warm? Look, I don't, I don't, I don't care about your temperature questions. I want to see this cutscene. Wait, well, you can be hot and vision. I don't even know what you mean. Because. Ooh. What is living if living is magma? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, there. It's, it's Almad. It's a lost Almadron. It's, re it's regu regular. It's Almadron. regular. It's burning to death Almadron. I mean, I'll be honest. It looks like he made a whole rock. Oh my god! Oh god! He makes actual lava. I oh, and it blows up. Okay. Look at him. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Magma Almadron. Okay, that is 100% going to show up later as Magmadron or Magmalmadron. Scorching mud. But before we get to any of this, can we please just address oh, the, what? Qu the the quest name, which is Hot Mud in Your Eye. I think it's correct. But like, hot mud in your eye? Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's like when you go get one of those exfoliating masks, but then the person turns out to be a mud assassin and rubs the mud in your eye, first blinding you before they proceed to strangle you with earth. I've never gotten one of those masks before, so that sounds about right to me. It is. It happens every single time. You, it's exhilarating and relaxing, because initially. Yeah. And I was, I was, I was talking to. I'm. I know. I want you to resonate into my into my speaker. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Massages are murderers. All right. Well done. Now everyone knows.
Wait, massages? Massages. Masseuse. Why is it masseuse? They're not a fucking also, Olympian. That would be masseuse. <laughs> it's me, your masseuse. Bitch, I'm the god of kings. And the god of gods. King of the ki king of the gods. God of dogs? God of dogs. I'm the god of dogs. That's not a very good dog. <laughs> How dare you say that? That's a bad dog All dogs situation, are good dogs. okay? I mean, if you're gonna be the god of something and Ooh. you get dogs, I mean, I guess it could be worse. You could be like the god of lice. Well, then at least you're in control of people's heads. And... Woo! B, 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 Is he gonna stick Old Meg Malmadron! I can't believe we're back here again, and I got myself a new form. Meg Malmadron, who wants to know? Who locked all out the door? I'm back and I'm hot, and I've not forgot you hunt a lot through the earth. I'll bother to the neck neck to well, I'm gonna leave you so and searing, cause you better start believing in this boiling hell I'm rearing. Give my glowing parts are a work of art. Now, enough of this nonsense. Can we start? I like it. I like it. He's just gray with some orange bits. Okay, so he just shoots out lava instead of mud. I like that they, they were just like, oh, it's like hot mud. It's not a hot mud. It's hot mud. That is okay, more than hot knows mud. that magma is hot mud. Well, I, I guess in, in some ways oh you could argue god. it has similar property. He literally just makes a little, oh my god, and it fires a little magma rock at the end. Okay, all right, mister. Look, I'm always one who says that there's lots of fire monsters in this series, and I have to notice a trend here. We did have the icy, the icy Somnican, so I'll give them that. However, yeah, but explosions and lava are two different things. But they're also both blast and fire, from what I can tell, because Bashan also had a fire breath, and I have to assume this also does fire. Well, congratulations, you just upset him. I don't think so, he just went to cool off in the spa. The spa? Yeah, the spa. No, I never realized there was a spa on the map. Well, there is when he's there. If you put if you put magma in water, you get steam. Is magma drawn a masseuse? Probably. You want to let him rub you? I do want to let him rub me. As much as like, I, I say what I do about fire monsters, I do think there's some of the, like, when they dig into it right visually, there's some of the best looking ones. Everybody likes fire. I just really like orange as a color, and he's definitely using orange a lot. Well, you're wrong. Okay. I mean, orange is, is the least pleasant color in the world. Well, that's an opinion. That, that's no, no, how no, that no. works I, normally. I speak for the colors. Well, the colors don't make that decision either. They're inanimate objects that we noticed and then gave names to. Well, clearly you've never been invited for an audience with the Council of Colors. Ow! That's because I don't want to. I have my own audience. When I play music... Hunting whore! Ow! I like you, Mag Malmadron, and his arms! And legs! And head! Gone full on whoa, just evil demon mode. He's going like glowfish, you know, a glowfish. Yeah, like the old glowfish. The classic glowfish. One of my favorite types of fish. Imagine the sea, if every fish. Okay. Now what? Okay. Have you got the sea? I, I was, I was continuing. I've got the sea. If every fish glue. You don't make glue from fishes. You make it from horses. No, not glue. Glow. No. If every fish stuck to every other fish, could you imagine I, I the literally sea? could not. It would just be one crazy sea creature that would just be going around. Oh my god, he makes platforms that explode! Yes! He makes burning platforms that then explode! That is so cool! Oh, what? Gosh. What is happening? What is happening? Uh, he's moving. Okay. And making new rocks. Okay. He this is... New rocks. I don't... I... I am so just, there's just so much going on right now. I really like this. It is really cool, but it's just, he's got so much happening. Like, it almost feels like the other ones up to this point have just been like, sort of, they've just been like little introductions to the concept of what a rise subspecies what? can be. What is that? Oh my Jesus. god! No. I don't have the health for this. That was an attack. I miss my spirit bird skill. I miss having lots of health. Well, I miss chocolate. You could still eat chocolate. Not since the chocolate was. Well, it's all right. I smuggled some in. It's in my market stall. You're not allowed to do that. Maybe you're not allowed to, but you can't tell me what to do. What to do? Damn it. This is the first of the subspecies so far that I think is just better than the, the base monster. Yeah, I, I think probably. Like I, I agree the, with that the, wholeheartedly. Lava hardening into pillars makes perfect sense, and then they're like hot, hot pillars, and then they explode, and then and that's they really cool. So it's like a limited amount of time that you can make use of them, but you can make use of them. I mean, you still burn yourself. Well, maybe you burn yourself, but I've got like you. You see my feet, like as I move my feet. Like you see, look at my. You see, well, my, someone's not walked on hot coals. You before. see my. You see my feet. I can't. I want. I want to show you my feet. How do I show? You? I look at my feet. Uh, can I? I can I hover? 
Can you're, you? Can, you're can you get weirdly un- into showing people your feet. Look I've, at I've the never feet. heard of that kind. Of- can you see my feet? The bit, the red. Yes, they're red. Mine are pink. What did you stand on? Myself. How? I'm just very flexible. Oh, the pyrantulas are here. Oh, why is that his? I'm, I'm just hanging out attack. It is a very, very cool attack. It heats up his. Okay, it heats up his old body. I wonder if he's got the old like no. takes more damage while heated up thing going on. The only negative this doesn't last very long. That I can see to Magmalmadron here is. Right. In a word. Oh, he's gorgeous. Agnactor. What about it? He kind of invalidates his existence. How? Because they're not going to put two... Ow. <laughs> you got burnt to death by the magma albedron. Actually, I was slapped with a big rock. You got slapped to death by a big rock. It's not really as satisfying when you, when you say it like that. Oh, hi. Where are we going? What can we do? Do some stuff. I don't know. Have a make him make him dance. Okay, that's cool. Now what? He is really. Big. Oh my God, man! Hip check. Hip check. Please. Trail slam. He is really big magma up. pools. Yeah, he. Um, I get the feeling he's also probably weak to ice, and we we did we did upgrade to ice weapons recently. Yeah, the Nagaron's kind of got this sorted. Just a little bit. It really sucks being a monster in in the Rise and Sunbreak universe. Just a little bit. You only get puppeteered just a touch. It could be worse. Oh, oh. When he's heated up. Yeah, he looks like his, absolutely his hot the, face. The big man. Lava, it's the lava beard for me. It's like it feels <laughs> like it should be dripping. It should be dripping. <laughs> How often in your life did you expect to be in a situation where you could say, for me? It's the lava beard. Uh, generally, when I watch volcano pirates hang out. Volcano pirates? Yeah, the pirates of the volcano seas. That would be such a cool franchise! Right? Except they would need a really big volcano. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, if it's just like a normal volcano, we can only be fitting Ow. two ships at most, but it's I going am... to be a lot of fun. I am struggling to get out of that attack every time he does what it. What you want to do is walk away from it. Yeah, I've been doing that. I'm just not fast enough. What? What? Uh, rocks. Oh, he made quite Some the little ring of rocks. Yeah, And rocks. these ones aren't blowing up. Oh, fuck. That hurt. Wait, I think it's heating up. I think, yeah, no. The, the, the actual solid ones you can stand on take a lot longer to blow up. We have Dragonator. We have Dragonator. Well, I mean, it's a bit... I don't we know have, if it's the right time for it. We have... Well, I mean, I guess someone's got to stand in it. Buddy... Is he going to do it? Buddy... Is he going to pull the lever? Buddy, you, you need... you. He's going to hang poof. out? He's as useless as the actual real cat he's based on. Oh, God, he's... He's, he's right next to me. <laughs> you talking shit? I hear you talking, talking garbage, father. <laughs> I hear you. I know what you're saying. Fire the thing, or get off the thing, but make it. <laughs> Ow. Did he just kill a Barbara with it? We had to use it on something. I, I, I guess he just found his opportunity. Was he waiting the entire time for the? <laughs> <laughs> that really caught me off guard. Perfectly planned. It was never about the monster, Meowster. I don't like insects. You no, know, fair enough. You could have done it to like one of the pyrantulas that are just in the area. But you know, if you don't like them when they're flying, everything I get it. is worse when it's flying. Literally everything. Octopus. I mean, Yamasukami is pretty great, so I don't know what you're talking about. No, but with wings, Cotton. With wings, everything's better when it floats. I mean, an octopus with wings would be pretty sick. Which is actually true. If you take something like a shark and give it wings, that is awfully terrifying to watch you. Where if a shark is just awesome. magically hovering, then that's a lot less threatening. That's a fact. Thanks, bird. No problem. You're not bird. Look, I don't know. You call me weird things all the time. <laughs> I just generally respond to names that you say. It's it's easier that way. If I don't respond, then there's just weird silence, and then it's sad. What is weird silence? It's like regular silence, but weird. Like this comfortable silence, this awkward silence, this tense silence, but what's weird silence? When there's something going on that you just absolutely... Like, awkward silence is like, well, that was awkward. Now we have to stop talking. Weird silence is nobody was talking in the first place, and I've just started doing something weird, and you refuse to acknowledge Clowns it. having a minute silence. Okay. That's weird silence. I, I guess, but that's just because you think clowns are weird. I mean... I don't disagree. I'm just saying that's why. Think about... Like, I have nothing against clown... Uh, crowns? Clowns? I have nothing against crowns. I'm not afraid of crowns. But back to okay. what we were talking about with clowns. <laughs> right. I, like... 
imagine the origin of a clown. I think it's uh, court jesters. Yes, but the idea that I'm gonna paint my face, put like a squishy red nose on, like right. dressed in loads of bright colors, and rhythmically throw balls. That seems like a great idea. And then other people well, went, do the ball. that is a great idea. Awesome. I think there's a few steps in there that you're missing. Like they didn't just like come up with the whole ensemble and then go with it. Like it's just like, I need to make people laugh. And then they did one, it's like just one of those things. It's like, okay, people laugh at that. Let's keep doing other weird shit and see if people still laugh. And they just cut out all the stuff that people don't laugh at. And unfortunately, it's become so standardized that nobody even laughs at the red nose anymore. It's just expected. You know how hard that is for clowns for it to just be expected? <laughs> I'm sorry, but look, my main issue with clowns is the red nose is too standardized and nobody finds it funny anymore. Well, I think someone should try a green nose or a blue nose, you know, expand. Well, maybe I can cheer you up. I don't want to be a cheered up. I want to be clown. Oh. How do you feel about clown murder? I don't like... He's doing dolphin dives that make little rocks. Oh, oh that's amazing. Like Falvedron. I love that. Oh, oh I, it gosh. It works so beautifully because lava hardens into rock and it just... Uh, yeah. That base concept, apply it to an Almadron and you've done a genius. But yeah. Exactly. It's beautiful. There once was a court jester. Is this going to be a rhyming limer? Which sounds like I'm sounds like I'm going into there once was a buh, 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 who put it but no yeah, I'm that's not. what there I was, was that was what I asked yeah. but in a less embarrassing way. <laughs> Thank you. I do like embarrassing hey. Anyway, there was a court gesture, right? Gesture? There was a court gesture. It was a hey! court gesture. No, there was a court jester. <laughs> that's that's what yeah. Who was very like he made his king laugh a lot, right? Yeah, he that's their good. job. Yeah, it was good. But one day he he told a bit too much of a risky, offensive joke. Ow! I'm gonna and, die. And the king, don't burn to death. Careful of the life. I'm trying not live. to. Okay, stay attached to your egg and feed off its life. I am. It's like a little life preserver. That would be awesome if you could suck it back in like a little breathing okay. apparatus, just <gasps> and get life back. <sighs> in any case, he once got himself in a bit of trouble and. And the king ordered this court gesture to be executed, right? Yeah. Which isn't great, but it's, you know, it's a risk of the job. But because, you know, <laughs> his past past services, right? He, he, he yeah. said, you may choose your method of, of execution, right? Okay. So he gave him, he gave him open-ended choice of the method of execution. So That's being a, a court decision. gesture, he had his wits about him. And yeah. he chose the method of death to be old Rage. age. Yeah. And the king, even, I don't know the that king, joke. Instead it just of made being sense. like, "Listen, here, you little shit," was like, eh, "All right, okay." You're so funny. instead, he let him have that little moment and banished him from his lands instead of actually executing him. And I think that's quite a fun little little that's story. Very nice of him to True do. Story. It's so ha so good of him to do that. I know. I'm so glad that he had he chose like what a, it takes a really big man to not execute someone for no reason. <laughs> No reason. I think it was like an offensive. I, I mean, I don't know the specifics of the execution it's, order. His job is literally to make offensive jokes, though. Like, if you don't make them offensive enough to a king, then they're not going to laugh in the first place. A court jester rides a very thin line that they don't even choose to ride. They're forced into that I, role. Yeah, but I think the joke, if I recall, was at the expense of the queen. Okay, well, I mean, maybe the king was into it the day before, and then they like they made up, and then he was like, no, you can't insult her anymore. Sometimes that happens. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but death is definitely a part of the whole court gesture. You know, it's part of the job description. Yeah, but you don't generally sign up for that job. It's more of one that's assigned to you. Uh <laughs> Are you a court jester? I was trying to strong arm stance my way out of that mess, and... I, I don't think it. it worked. Look, I've got to get used to a whole new ability. It's not my fault. Can't help but notice a question mark has appeared on the map. A question mark? Yeah, Rathian has left the locale. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark has appeared. Have you not seen a Volvedon on PC? No, I've seen a Volvedon. There's one coming right at me. I think it's the other thing on the map. Have you not seen a Kezu on PC? We've killed Kezu. Well, look, I'll be honest, man. It's Volvedon and Kezu, so I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what to tell you. Well, then I, I blame the game then because it said question mark it appeared and I can see both of those symbols, so it's not that. Would you rather four mouthfuls of salt or an entire bag of sugar? Still the sugar. I don't want to eat salt. Three mouthfuls of salt or an entire bag of sugar. Don't want to eat salt. Two mouthfuls of salt or an entire bag of sugar. Still don't want to eat salt. I don't know where where you think this is going to go. I think I made myself quite clear. One mouthful of salt or an entire bag of sugar. Still the sugar. I like sugar. Where, where are you getting at here? Okay, no, that is insane. That is insane. Like, an entire bag of, like, a kilogram of sugar. You know how 
gastronomically awful that would be. I'm not saying I want to have the sugar, but I want to have it more than I want any portion of just pure salt put into my I'm mouth. I'm sorry, but in terms of harmless to your person, a single mouthful of salt is the way better choice than a kilogram of sugar. You, I, what? Well, I don't know how big the bag you were going off of was. You just keep saying bags. That doesn't mean anything by itself. Standard sugar bag is a kilogram. I don't know your standard bags. It's just a, it's just a bag. There's like things come in different <laughs> sizes. <laughs> I've never met the your like, standard bags. Your standard bags could be anything. Things literally come in different sizes. There's no just one size fits all bag. <laughs> You've never clearly had an Omni bag, sir. I've not, and I don't claim to either. Oh, my days. Oh, my months, and oh, my years. That's a lot of time. Oh, that was such a fun little ground spit. I, this guy yeah. is great. This guy is, is really good. And we're here great. talking this... about bags of sugar and salt for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and now dead. he's dead. Well, that was some nice uh, salty times. Very sweet. <laughs> Such a little death. But yeah, he is by far oh. and away the best new oh. subspecies. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, that was he incredible. looks gorgeous, the fight is fun, it's a little bit challenging, I love his new platform building, it builds on the platform of Almadron really well, it's a nice natural extension. Like, there's nothing about this where I'm like, oh, but he's kind of lost this, he's just, he's just no, better. Like, yeah, lava, no, he's just, he's like just lava is better than just mud. Gained. And he uses it better. Like that's that's, well, the, the, thing is, that's the bottom line. He uses the same general uh, attacks as a basis, but they're cooler. And then he has a bunch of new ones because he's magma instead of mud and can move through the ground. And they're rocks. And now it makes sense that he can move through the ground because he's freaking covered in magma and lava. And he's hot enough that he can do that instead of it just being mud with some gold. Don't get me wrong. I like the gold, but the lava mud is very, it's very good. I would follow you to battle. Okay. You know, I just realized something. What? We left Atushi just unanswered. Well, that was what he asked us to do. <laughs> anyway, Magma Armadron. Magma Armadron. Magma Armadron. Like, it, it works in a lot of ways, actually. I agree. That's why I said it. All right. Magma Armadron. Oh, please look. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah, cool. Yeah, no, it looks great. I mean, it's just, it's the same as Armadron, but great, like, chrome base, and you have a lot of diability with it. Yeah. As much it's quite nice. as he had. Oh! Because oh, he died. Because he died. All right, what are your words for Mr. Megmalmadron? Balls of pain. Balls of pain. Who do you think? Uh, yeah, who do you think is going to be our first triple? Of all the monsters you've not seen yet, Con, who's going to be our first triple cut? Uh, I think that it'll probably be uh, Chaotic Gormagala. I like it. I like it. I like the way that you think. I mean, Astolos got too. us twice. Magmalmadron got us twice. I feel like we're on yeah. the tipping point where we're going to have to, and I don't say this lightly, sit up. Uh, but I don't like sitting up. I've been I lying know. down the whole time. It's God. so nice that you can just play Rise lying down in a bed just looking up. <laughs> Alright guys, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, eat pizza, and uh, remember to continue to support us Not if too you much like pizza. on Patreon down below. I'll be honest with you, I said that Don't because I was sick. thinking about having pizza for dinner and I was just hoping you wouldn't mention it and I could just smoothly move on to the rest of the outro. I mean, I guess we're having pizza for dinner. What? Why we? We hunt together, we eat together. Hey, hey! <laughs> I'm gonna order some from Hammond. A good <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye